It's the single largest wind turbine project in Kenya today. And I think, as far as we're concerned, we've contributed in, in, in some small way for more efficient, cleaner, greener energy, which will fuel the development of Kenya's economy in the future. The main challenge of this project is to have delivered 365 wind turbines in a very remote area, which is 1,250 kilometers from the port of entry. In order to achieve that, we had translated the just-in-time supply chain model, which is normally reserved to the automotive industry, into project cargo and out-of-gauge package. Bolore Group has mobilized 60 brand new trucks and 60 trailers designed in purpose for this specific wind turbine. So we have 20 trailers of each type to be able to deliver the different types of components which are namely the towers, the blades and the nacelles. We have the equipment and we have the human resource that is very important. The team recruited for this project has been selected on very specific criteria and taken through a tailor-made training program which was covering all the aspects of our operation. We have been taking very good care of our equipment, scheduling everything because we cannot afford any downtime. To design the best logistics solution for this project, we had to conduct several road surveys to the site and uh, assist the manufacturer to design the trailers according to the road constraints. The convoy is a journey of five days, which is stopping in Mtito and Day, Ati River, Nanyuki, Laisamis, before reaching the site in Lake Turkana. The infrastructures are very challenging in this environment. We have to go through very populated areas with a lot of traffic. We have to go through very hot areas and then we have to cross 200 kilometers of road which have been built for access to the site. Due to the very high quality standards on this project and the sensitivity of the nacelles, we had to develop a very specific vibration monitoring system. We were first involved nine years ago when there were simply no roads to that part of, of the country and, and our first route survey had to be conducted by helicopter. We have worked closely with our leaders, with the local leaders, with the community leaders. We have always been in constant engagement with them, managing their expectations managing the communities, managing people's behaviors, managing people's attitudes, and uh, the project has been a perfect success. We are very proud of uh, our teams and what they have executed on the field. It's amazing. I think it's such a privilege to be involved in this project. It's been a journey for us, as I mentioned, over nine years. And the culmination for us is really, we came, we saw, we delivered.